can't get out there. Okay, so my presentation is on social media and health um, research and health information and pushing information out to the public and engaging them in healthcare. It's a collaborative, um, it's giving you three examples of collaborative um, projects with Professor Ben Light about um, helping healthcare providers engage better with the public. One of the first projects that we did was with Brooke Manchester and they had a static website to engage young people and we increased um, the activity and the engagement through the website through videos, forums, chat rooms as well as providing health information. Uh, one of the things we did with Brooke, uh, one of the biggest things, was we changed the way that they delivered healthcare education with young men. They used to go out into parks with a phallic symbol, teach them how to put condoms on in the middle of the public. Um, and what we did was that Christina Vasilika, who was the KTP associate, created a condom app demo. So they now present this information to boys and young men using mobile phones and they're not actually in the community embarrassing those people and they're engaging better in the healthcare. Um, we, we introduced lots of different aspects on the site and these were sort of testing, testing out different methods of engaging young people and most of the methods that we've used now are actually being taken by Brook National into their programme across the national um, sites for providing sexual health information to young people. Um, and, th and they're using them better than we actually, but we increase the idea of how to engage better. Uh, the second, one of the second examples is with the Lesbian and Gay Foundation. We did um, a cervical screening campaign for um, LGB women to increase their awareness that they should go for a cervical screening test. Um, and with this campaign, we introduced videos on, um, on the theme of Hollywood, um, Have You Been For Your Screen Test, um, Gone With The Wind, um, Dirty Dancing, The Titanic, and we released these videos as well as having an interactive website where there was Twitter, Facebook, um, and we increased engagement through this campaign and gained more knowledge of how better to engage with different groups of people. What we found through Google Analytics was the, the release of videos was definitely one of the most effective ways of engaging with this group. The articles that we put in magazines, which we thought they'd be reading, were not as in, uh, didn't have the impact that the social media and the digital media had that we put out there um, on the web. Um, and we also introduced a gaming, sort of, um, where they had to put the cervix of a woman in, not a real cervix, obviously, <laughs> um, of a woman in the spotlight, and they had to do so many in 60 seconds, as well as subliminal messages about screening that we kept putting up into the game. Um, and this created a lot of Twitter um, information. Uh, a lot of Twitter exchanges on who was beating who on the game. Uh, but it wasn't as big as we thought it might be. But certainly the Facebook, the Twitter, helped push the campaign out and the information. So it was, it was sort of our first uh, way of trying to push health information out this way. The last campaign that I'm going to talk about is cervical screening for 25 to 29 year olds that we've just been commissioned by um, the North West um, NHS. And this, this campaign is all surrounding cats. Cats are the biggest search thing on the internet. And the students, we set a student live brief, and the students came up with this um, campaign, Don't Be a Scaredy Cat. We've got an interactive website where we're putting out key messages about early detection being critical, um, and other messages. We've got Facebook, we've got Twitter, we've got polls, um, and we've got a multifaceted campaign going on over the next six months. Um, some of the, um, this is a slider that goes across the thing and there's different messages to do with screening only taking five minutes and you don't have to go on your own. We're actually developing mashups of cats <laughs> to increase engagement in different ways to different people. Um, and then building on that mashup of cats, we're actually doing YouTube videos. The students are going to do YouTube videos of um, the crusher cats, and I'm ahead of myself now. Uh, but the purpose of it is to put subliminal messages in to getting people in talking about cats or doing things with cats, but actually to see the messages about getting screened and the need to get screened and the need to answer an invitation. So the next slide, which is going to come in a minute, is about the crusher advert. Um, YouTube videos that we're going to do. We're going to, um, the students are going to do cats in gyms 
but we're going to do it in a way of a healthy, happy cervix, um, which is what you need. Uh, we're also going to repost funny videos of cats that will bring people in in different ways to look at the site. We're then going to take it one step further, and this is Ben Light coming through here. We're going to upload pictures of your scaredy cat, which is actually a big interactive thing on the internet. We're going to develop those pictures into a calendar to sell for Joe's Cancer Trust. We're then going to do a Mogatron app where you can dress your cat up. Um, and this, this, we think, might be quite big. We're going to do a flash kitty mob. Uh, not with real cats, obviously, because that doesn't work. But we're going to do it. We're going to buy these costumes and we're going to put people out there. And we're going to sell the notion of cats and bring them back into the website to sell cervical screening. And we're going to do a Harlem Shake video. Uh, when I say we, I don't mean me. Um, one of the things we've just recently started using is Brandwatch, which is a social media monitoring tool. We can identify who's talking about so cervical screening on the internet. We can infiltrate those groups and we can put our messages in there and we can bring people back to our site. We don't know how effective this will be, but we're trying it out on this campaign. We can also see where people are going to find out about health information and we can bring them back to our site. Um, so we're going to try this social media monitoring out as well as Google Analytics and other embedded evaluation to measure what's working and what doesn't um, with this age group to increase cervical screening. And finally, what I want to say is there are massive opportunities for increasing public engagement in their health using social media. And I, and I think we're only scratching the surface with what we're doing. Yes! <laughs>